Yeah. What's good, y'all? I'm back again with another my career video. Y'all know what y'all supposed to do, so I ain't gotta go into it. So apparently, my Elgato decided it wanted to, you know, do things on its own, and it did not record any of the audio from the game. All I could hear was basically myself talking. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick little overview as to what happened in the my career story. So, as you guys know, if you did not know, they gave you an option after you got hurt to play the game, you know, at 50 to 75%, or you could sit out and be 100% for the, the high school showcase. So, I decided to be 100% for the high school showcase simply because I want to raise my draft stock. But I did not know that my teammates was this ass. Look at you. What are you doing? You're throwing the ball out of bounds. That was an easy pass. And I'm sitting on the bench like, bro, y'all are trash. Like, y'all are dookie butt cheeks. Like, and then I'm thinking, my big man's going to do something. Like, he don't even do nothing. He throws it to this dude, and then he misses. Like, bro, how, how do you, do you miss, miss that, bro? That, bro? Your ass. Your ass. So I'm thinking, like, maybe my point guard going to do something. You know what I'm saying? Because he always show up. He a white boy. He got fundamentals. No, he do not got fundamentals. Lauren or the SVU. Look, takes the ball from him. Like, what is this? George Gurdon layup. And then look at the score, bro. Look at the score. So, you know, I had to put that behind me. You know what I'm saying? The high school showcase came up. I did what I had to do. I dropped them fools off. You know what I'm saying? But this fool, Hendricks Cox, whatever his name is, Cobb Cox, I don't care, corner of the car. He got dropped off. You know what I'm saying? Because I get buckets. He got dropped off. We did what we had to do. You know what I'm saying? I left. Then he wanted to talk to me after the fact. Told me some, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You so good. I'm like, no, you're ass. Don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Do not talk to me. I don't have nothing to say to you. You're trash. You know what I'm saying? 30, 10, and 1. I did what I had to do. Then I had to make a decision to go to college. You know what I'm saying? On the G League. And obviously, you know what I did. If you need water, there's a water fountain coming up. Might be broken. I've been assured they're fixing it. I'm good, thanks. Pigs. Seriously, pigs. My kids, guinea pigs. We have four. Keep a cleaner cage than the guys in this tunnel. Well, what the Boys hell? The hockey players. All right, let's go meet the team. Well, if you didn't guess by now, we went to the G League. Hey, okay, guys. Listen up. Can I have your attention? Guys. Oh no, nah, they ain't here playing music. Okay. What? Thank you. I wasn't so hard. Welcome back. Meet Junior. Junior, meet your teammates. First up, this guy's done it all. College phenom, lottery pick, NBA All-Star, busted his knee, worked for Nike and Jordan. He's now back on the court. Needs no introduction, but I like to give him one. Say what's up to Jackson Ellis. Another round! No! Oh my god, they got Jackson Ellis back? In the flesh. Large and in charge, baby. <laughs> Why are you so loud? Why are you so loud, dude? Come on. Yeah, I think so. Well, you know I'm the real deal. Stop playing with me. Because J.E. only plays with winners now, baby. You're trash. Shut up. Jackson. Next up is one of the deadliest gunslingers from beyond the arc ever. Say what's up to Shammy Wells. What's up, Shammy Wells? Oh, they got Shammy too? What's up to my new teammate? Who's Hammy? <laughs> this is what I deal with five months out of every year. If they got justice, bro, I'm a, I'm a flip. Oh, they got ATM. You're trash. Shut up. I don't care. Whenever you need it, 24 7. You soft, kid? No. You sure you ain't soft? No, I'm not soft. You sure you ain't soft? I'm sure I'm not soft. Right. And bro, don't ask me in my soul, bro. I'm a grown man, bro. Don't ask me that, bro. What's wrong with you? Just do your job. Okay. You're trash. Shut up. We'll be next to Vlad the Impaler, whose family name is most likely the inspiration for Count Dracula. Is this insult? <laughs> my English, it's misunderstood. But hardcore skills, very excellent, good. He look like he the center. Honor to play for G. A man is a killer right there. Yo, mm -hmm. got two things to tell you, okay? One. Really think about it before you go out there. Think about it. Think Use your mind. Because dude's going to be dunking on you all day, every day. Mm. Huh? Two. Stay out of my way. Because, listen, if I find out that, you know, 
I twisted my ankles because you tripped me up. You're trash. And three. Make sure you keep them big eyes open and pay attention. All right. Pass me the ball behind the arc. You feel me? Hey, Shami. <laughs> Hey. Wells does it again. Look, ah, I get y'all been here before. Y'all not about to just talk to me any type of way. I'm the star of this team, bro. Give me the rock. I take care of everything. Hold up, hold up. This is the real ATM. Right hey, here. hey, yeah. hey. That's trademarked. What? This was fun. Uh, and you, they coach? Practice in 20. Hey, coach. This is the pros, kid. I draw the X's and O's and set the minutes. Play well, you keep starting. Not so well, and you sit. Earn their respect by the end of the year. Maybe you got something. I ain't earning nobody respect, man. What? Do you know who I am? Y'all a bunch of clowns. I ain't got a money suit on. You got a purple suit on. Y'all look like the reject Power Rangers. Shut up. Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us for a night of G League basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Northern Arizona Suns going up against the Maine Red Claws. Along with Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, we go. and today's game should be a thrilling one. While it's hard not to be excited about Let's do it. action, Blake, first game. Blessed to be able to watch these developing talents battle each other as they try and distinguish themselves from an incredibly talented pool of players. Yeah, with every yeah, I switch everything. Career, it gets harder and harder. Here we go. You're surrounded by more and more talented players. Some stiff competition. Bro, what? In this name of this minor league level, the league was formed as the D League. Back <clears throat> and the D in the D League, standing for developmental. Gatorade partnered with the NBA, and it was rebranded to the G League in 2017. The league hasn't missed a beat. Now here's Red. You're not doing that again, bro. Started by Wells. Free from Fasenko. Fasenko. Yo, and we going doing what I do best. Run with me. Shammy. And here's Ellis. Young. You ain't heard about me. Oh my god. Duncan. Let's it go from deep. Nah, he can't. There we go. Oh yeah. Outside Middleton. Young. Defended by Sabalos. Back to Middleton. Oh yeah, no, nah, this he's wrong, man. Ellis. I Young. can't do that. Rebounded by Fazenko. It hasn't been an easy quarter for him, offensively speaking. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Up top, Duncan. Sabalos. All that crazy crap I was doing in high school, I can't do that in the G League. Recently, they upped the financial pay for players out of high school, and they've now provided a real alternative to develop. Yo, why I can't hit threes? He's gonna buy himself a ticket straight to the bed. If he keeps shooting it, like he has so far in this quarter. After Junior. Fires the three. This wide open. Oh. I'm sure his teammates would agree with that, Sam. Last thing they want to see him doing is shooting at I think he had some coaches who felt the same way. And here's McCoy. There's a four second difference from the shot clock in game clock. Oh my god. Junior. First three. <laughs> His second make of this game. He's missed five. Yeah, we're Thank you. A little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Wells. Jamie? Yes, and it's Young with the assist that time. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dunleavy. Boy, stop. Wow. It's going to go on Young. 
This is his first opportunity at the line this evening. And ball on last. Silhouette of a player dunking rather than dribbling. And while the logo is not as iconic as the NBA logo, it's very fitting for the G League. The logo. Oh my God, he's a grown man. This is an excitement of developing basketball talent. Now here's Young. I can't do that. Their biggest margin, and the basket is good. Perfect timing. He was a grown man, bro. One eye up. You have to believe in yourself if you want to be a big game player in this league. And when you talk about, bro, it's so hard to get by these dudes. Developing players, a number of coaches as well have jumped from the G League to the NBA. Nick Nurse, Quinn Snyder, and Dave Yeager, they all spent time in the G League before being hired by NBA coaching staffs. I think the G League is just a fantastic place for young and upcoming coaches to build a resume and gain real experience. Come on. And that's out of bounds. Northern Arizona. Come on, Sam. Left side, Young. Oh, my God. With the bucket. Boy, the floor really opened. The original eight teams remain in their initial locations. But you know, since then, the league has exploded in size. I was not trying to do that. Now, at an incredible 29 teams in two different countries, the league has survived some hardship, but is now established. Even with all this expansion, hey, the league is here. still looking at the kidding me, Junior? You just got here? That's all you've got? Sorry, Coach. I just didn't have time. But didn't have it tonight. You better step it up or you're going to be on a bus heading back to Jersey Shore. No. Oh. Forever. Sit. Unbelievable. I mean, I am playing like some shit. Damn. Nine points, five rebounds, one steal. Ew. What did I ask you before? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember right now. Are you soft? Yeah, looks like you earned yourself a new nickname. Soft serve. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't play yourself. It sticks if we say it sticks. Lesson one, this ain't high school. Step up your game or you will lose playing time. Soft serve. Welcome to the G League. Do you need a blanket and a warm bottle? Man, chill out. It was a bad game. Yeah, I hear you. It's a short timeline. I suggest you produce fast or your draft stock is going to plummet. And you know what that means. No more NBA. So what you doing here? Because you trash. Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us for a night of G League basketball. And tonight, we've got the South Bay Lakers playing against the Northern Arizona Suns. I'm Blake Suniga, along with Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. G League games are always a fun chance to see the NBA's rising stars in action. You just never know which players on the floor today could be tomorrow's NBA. We're going to have a better game, bro. We just we play like shit. But even those players who won't get the call up, they're still top talents. So you're guaranteed to see some exciting basketball. Now here's Cooper. Outside Reynolds. Oh, cuz. Yeah. Boy, I mean, that shot had no chance of going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot. Up. Really ill advised. Young with it. Bruh. Back to Middleton. Pass to Wells. Walk at six. Good. Yo. When they said, like, it's physical, it's physical. I can't even blow by the dude I'm checking. Shammy getting it done here in the G League for a long time. Great form, beautiful release. Can destroy a team from outside on any given night. Now here's Farrell. Outside Reynolds. Can't cash in from the high post. Northern Arizona's ball. Pull that. Oh, Sammy. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into. Letting him get that open. Yeah, they got tightened it up. Now here's Reynolds. 
No. And he makes good on the layup. What? He wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. And on the low block, I thought he might be. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be his comfort zone, but he looked pretty comfortable right there. On brick wall screen. Here we go. Young inside. Guarded by Cleveland. I missed that. Give me that. Perhaps one of the most famous G League stars ever was Andre Ingram. He spent a good amount of his career here with the South Bay Lakers. What a story Ingram was, of course, famous for being the oldest rookie in the NBA, cracking the league at 32. He had to That's a big body, boy. Come on now. No. Bruh. It keeps making me pull up. I'm trying to get to the basket. I was about to say. Alright, we gotta play better, bro. Come on. You wanna call up, you better be a versatile player. And so far he's shown us he's capable of delivering in a number of key areas. Get a bucket, boy. Come on, let's do it. Turn up. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Outside young. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. We got to get better ratings. That's all it is. Right. Covering left side Reynolds. Over Haji. Some solid defense from on. Shammy just took my board. And you look at the developmental side of the G League. It's been a great step. What the? So many NBA players over the years. Bro, he just did that? Back to Young. Well, I was about to say. Eight of the last ten points. That's right, you heard me right. Eight of their last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. Now Hill. Pass to Temple. To the paint. Thank you. Before that, the franchise was founded in 2006. They're one of the older G League teams. They rebranded in 2017 to become the South Bay Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers were actually. I don't care. I don't care. We're going to make something up. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure of that. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close the game out. Give me that. Happy there, coaches. Okay, so there was a bump in the road with that first game mm -hmm. covered. So congrats, you'll remain in the starting lineup. <laughs> That's how you keep the sure. NBA interest strong. Momentum. Give it to me here. <laughs> Boom. Big time players adjust instantly game to game. You did that. Yeah. Thanks, coach. I'm still trying to find my place in this game, but something's clicking. And hey, I heard the boys gave you a nickname. Yeah. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I'm still trying to head that off. <laughs> hey, from what I've experienced in my life, soft serves a delicious summertime treat. Should be honored. That's one way of putting it. Listen, I'm, I know I may not look it, but I've actually been in this league a long time. I started out as an NBA team's video coordinator before I became head coach here. I'll probably be an assistant in the league, but I like it here. Anyway, my point is, vets don't give nicknames to anybody. They give nicknames to the ones they respect. So you're on the right well, I don't respect the fact okay. that ATM is trash. Actually, we'll change that nickname. Shammy Jax. Thanks, Coach. Sure. And Jackson Ellis is just trash. We still having a hard time figuring out, you know what I'm saying, this whole my player thing. I'm still learning how to play the game. I will say that. 
Um, but as of right now, ah, it's, it's, ah, I got to get some badges. I had to get higher overall. Like, I got to get some. Because it's getting kind of hard playing with this player. But we're going to stop it right here. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe so y'all can get this next video. Peace. I'm going to holler at y'all. Baby.